Okay, what is up guys? I hope you are good. I've got uh, here with me a Lenovo ThinkPad uh, E15. Lenovo ThinkPad E15. So there's quite something that I've noticed with these laptops. I'll remove the CMOS over here. So these laptops, they do work with the battery, but they do not work with the charger. So I've received five laptops like this, exactly the same. However, I'm facing pretty much the same issue with them. Only one of them has got a different issue. So as you can see, as you can see, the laptops are drawing 20 volts. Well, 20.29 volts. So they are taking 20.29 volts, which means the communication between the charger and the laptop it's good it's clean no problem there however so if i measure over here by our input so please note this is not the general fix of a uh, thinkpad which is not charging or something this is in particular for these ones which take in 20 volts but are still not charging and are still not powering on from the charger so if you check over there 20 volts is coming in there we go 20 volts coming in over there and that's on the coil now when we check our main power though, so for example here we've got two MOSFETs which means we do we should get our main power though, somewhere over here we've got nothing if we check any of the coils we've got nothing I think there's one which gives us one volt here that would be this one gives us a uh, one volt also here on the input yeah so I've pretty much checked all of them they're giving me the same problem so that I have discovered to be an issue with the MOSFETs these two MOSFETs over here um, yeah so those MOSFETs are found right under here So it's these two MOSFETs. So this should be your PD controller over here, controlling uh, your all the components related to the Type C and everything. So if you measure the 1.6 volts, 1.5 volts, 1.8 volts, depending on the charger and the communication, the CC lines coming from the charger to the motherboard, those communications lines you can trace them all the way to the PD controller, but you won't be getting 20 volts coming out of this piece so you do have 20 volts coming in and it will even be generated here around the PT controller so if we check here we should get that 20 volts somewhere here there we go 20.1 volts but when we check the output of these MOSFETs, we've got 3.3 .3 volts. So this would basically be like your first and second MOSFET. Then you get the main power. So on the main power, we're only getting 3 volts. I think you saw one coil which was giving us 3.3 .3 volts at the back. Yeah. So what I've discovered is that if this MOSFET is the second one. In every situation, this is the fourth laptop I'm working on now with the same issue. So I'm going to remove this MOSFET and you will see. You can see it's discolored. Oh, 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 oh. You can clearly see the MOSFET is discolored over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, it's supposed to be shiny and silver. But however, it's discolored like this. Yeah, you can clearly see this MOSFET is not healthy. This one is silver, this one is like brownish gray. So that's the fault you must get. Anyways, I'm gonna remove. This is from the uh, third one, which I just did now. I've already wrapped it in plastic over there. In uh, plastic wrap. Just to keep it safe from scratches. So I'm gonna start with the second one. You can see it immediately comes off. There. Same situation. 
the most part is just dirty and leaving the pads at the bottom the remain dirty uh, if you ask me I pretty much think there's something wrong with the, with the type C circuit the way they designed it or whatever because it doesn't make sense that out of five laptops four of them have got the same issue if you measure these MOSFETs, they will most likely be measuring okay. There. Measures fine. 46 kilo ohms. Yeah, the MOSFET is fine. You measure the second one, the, the first one actually, there. 45. So those MOSFETs are fine. And they are definitely okay. But for some reason, they do not generate that uh, voltage you want. Let me grab a donor board and. Uh, Still two MOSFETs from there. Check. I don't know. Whatever you want to consider it. Yeah. Here's a dinner board. I've been pretty much using from the S145. There's NMC11 or NMC171. You know those think that uh, those I get at S145 then. They are basically using components. So, yeah. Let me pull it up. So I'm just taking them from the charging circuit, from the battery charger circuit over here. There's the first, and there's the second. So what I'll do is I'll clear that here. I'm pretty sure if I clear the, if I clean, if I clean the MOSFETs and the heads, surface there where the MOSFET is supposed to sit, I can pretty much use the same MOSFETs which were here. Because they are not dead, they probably just went dirty. And the connection is becoming poor. And poor. And poor. Anywho. Apply some flux over there. Just to make sure things flow and don't get stuck. Anywho, first one, here we go. Sits like this. I have to try my best to be as quick as possible and avoid reflowing the PD controller over here. Because if I do that, I'm stuck. But, uh, a BGA component, so it sucks. You know, someone decided to say, out of the traditional ways of having components with pins on the side, they decided to put balls under components. Balls that you can't control. Solder balls that squeeze out of the sides. So, yeah, I think I'm okay. I'm not so confident about these MOSFETs, but they are okay. Uh, 
back. So I'm gonna check the fuse as well if it's not blown. And the fuse is fine like the rest, there is no shot on the circuit like the rest. So just let it cool down a little. Which I forcefully do that by applying this spray. And then cleaning the physical flux away. So immediately the motherboard is just cool enough for me to test. Anyways, let me grab a charger and plug it in. What do we have? Got 20 volts coming in. Do we have power in? Would you look at that? I'm not so lucky with this one. Wow. I'm quite sure I've got the same situation again, whereby 20 volts is not coming here. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you a trick. Still have 20 volts coming in, 3.4 volts coming out. So yeah, pretty much the same issue with the connector over there. And as if I short the fuse to the 20 volts, you will see what happens. Okay, I'm going it this way. There, and then I'll short this fuse to the 20 volts supply. Supposed to start all the tweezers not sitting properly, doesn't they have good contact? There we go. The laptop is on, it's running. I think what give us a fan spin, or the fan doesn't spin. I don't know if you can clearly see that, but it's drawing 600 milliamps. The side is drawing 14 watts. And then when I take it off, it goes dead. I don't know about the fan, whether it works or not. But anyways, so that's the issue I'm facing here. Most of it is not sitting properly or oh, it's dead. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. there was a shot between the gate and the, and the source. Short over there. Okay. Let's check the other one. The other short one we do not. Okay. Let it cool down. Force it. There we go, 719, and it's drawing in power now. So the laptop is working now. Let's plug in a battery. Check the charging. It's supposed to get an orange light if it's charging. And there we go. We do have an orange light now. Now it's drawing 2 amps, 2.9 amps, because it's charging the battery. And there's a, oh, there's a screw stuck on the fan. <laughs> The fan is spinning now. There was a screw stuck over there, stopping the fan from spinning. Anywho, drawing 60 watts, drawing 3 amps and 19.57 volts. This is fixed. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole issue with these laptops. Almost any time you get a dead one, or one that's working with a battery but not with a charger. As long as it's drawing 20 volts, you, have to, you don't have to look at the PT controller, you don't have to look at the... USB circuit or USB C port con uh, port protector or anything in that circuit. As long as you've got 20 volts over here, the laptop and the charger are communicating fine. So you have got an issue with the generation of your main power rail, which is those two MOSFETs. So just check that. I think it's applicable on the rest of the uh, Lenovo motherboards that are using Type C, because it's very typical for Lenovo to use the same circuit in a particular series of laptops or certain years releases of laptops and then if they messed up in one they messed up in everything.
like G50, G40, G500, all of them, they've got that issue with the USB types, or the USB port, that USB charger, the big one. Every laptop with that one has got an issue whereby if you shake it too much, and then 19 volts goes to the uh, one wire circuit. You bend the EC, laptop is fried. You can't fix it unless you change the EC, which is fucked up. Anyways, I'm gonna plug this to the to the screen. As you can hear, the phone is spinning. The battery is being charged already. Uh, I'm gonna plug this to the screen. I don't know how these guys expect me to fix this. There is no RAM. There is no SSD. They just want me to fix it. So I will fix it the way they want me to. Uh, okay. Here we go. Like the keyboard. I don't know what that is. I think it's the that second trackpad, the one which is on the center of the keyboard. Okay, screen cable. I will just need basically four screws. These two for the hinge. Yeah, they want the thick screws on which I took out, where is the second one? Oh no, the second one is it? No, no, it's not supposed to be a second, here it is. So, there we go. Two screws put in there. The trackpad. I.O. and power button. Speaker for me to hear the beep. Okay, my RAM, which I've used for testing the rest of the laptops. Plug in the USB C charger. What do we get? We get a fan spin for drawing one amp. Give it a minute to display. After removing the CMOS battery and the power and the battery as well, you kind of reset the CMOS, the BIOS or whatever, the firmware, whatever way you choose to name it. Now, funny enough, these laptops do not have backlight keyboard, which I find very weird. Like such nice laptops. There we go, Lenovo. Yeah, so I guess that's it, guys. I hope you learned something. Yeah, if you are working on a Lenovo Type C circuit, pretty much it's uh, it has to do with those. As long as it's drawing 20 volts and it's not starting from the charger, pretty much you are facing an issue with your main power of generation, which is coming from those two MOSFETs. Uh, we'll see you guys in another video. I hope you learned something. So as you can see, like I said, I've worked on a lot of those. That's one. That's two in there, and there is a third one. The fourth one, I don't know where it is. Oh, the owner took it already. And the fifth one, I have no idea. Probably in the storeroom. Anyways, I hope you learned something. I'll see you in another one. Bye, guys.